Hello, this is Peyton from Voice Tutorial, and today I'm going to be showing you how to simultaneously record the output of physical audio devices and the audio output of applications on Windows. First thing you need to check is uh, by right clicking the sound icon in the taskbar and then clicking recording devices. That'll bring up a menu that looks somewhat like this. And make sure that at this point you've connected the physical device that you want to be recording, your microphone for example, and then right click it and go to properties. In the listen tab, check listen to this device. That will make sure that all of the audio output from that device is mirrored in your system sound so that you can listen to it like music. You can test to make sure that this is working by just tapping on your microphone and seeing if you hear a sound through your speakers. Second step is uh, to right click the white space in the background and show disabled devices. Hopefully you'll see something that says stereo mix here. If you do, right click it and click enable. If you don't, hold on because I'm going to address you later in the video. If you have stereo mix open, then you're done. Stereo mix is now the microphone that you would set to record in whatever application you want. I have an example up in Audacity, but uh, you'll see that the microphone I'm currently recording with, when I send sound through it, it comes to the stereo mix. But if I were to play music or something, then it would also come through the stereo mix. Every sound your computer makes goes to the stereo mix and comes through as one stream. So in Audacity, if I were to change the microphone input drop down to stereo mix, then I would get both my microphone and all of my system sounds. Now if when you right click this you didn't see stereo mix when you enabled uh, when you went to show disabled devices that is typically a driver issue some sound cards don't support it but most of them do. Um, you can check what kind of drivers you need through here, or rather not what kind, but you can just check if it's real tech. If you go to playback and then double click speakers and then in the controller information area you click properties and then you open up this window in the uh, details tab change the property drop down to hardware IDs. If you see something that looks like this where it says HD audio backslash Funko 1 or VEN then uh, that means you have a Realtek sound card. So you can go to the Realtek website and download their HD audio drivers. I'll have a link for that in the description. In the description. Um, if your stuff isn't a Realtek sound card, then the best thing you can do is try to identify the hardware that you have. Either if you built your machine, then just look up uh, the drivers for your motherboard and make sure you downloaded both the chipset and the audio drivers. That is also not if you just built your machine, but also if you uh, if you bought your machine but you made a new operating ins system install, then check the model of uh, your machine and make sure you downloaded the audio drivers. Usually those will be available online, like uh, let's say you bought an HP ZX59. I don't think that actually exists, but you would have... Uh, the name of the line on the case or something like that. Just Google that, find the support page, and look for the driver downloads. Um, and once you've done that, then come back and try the step again, and hopefully you will have the stereo mix available to you. You may be required to reboot. Well, that's, uh, that's all there is to it, so have a good day, guys.